What's going on, everybody? Demon here, bring you a Black Ops free-for-all gameplay commentary. Got a little Spaz 12 action, actually, going for you on uh, Hangar 18. And I've been trying to do different weapons like you guys asked and things like that, so I wanted to do something that was a little bit more close range, a little bit more run and gun with the Spaz 12. So, got a little something different for you guys. Uh, it's actually quite difficult to do free-for-all with a shotgun on a two-bar, I actually came to find out. But I got the hang of it, and uh, got a nice little gameplay for you. But I want to talk to you today about something that I feel is pretty important, and I think that I really need to make aware to you guys. Um, because Modern Warfare 3 is coming out soon, next two months. A lot of information is starting to come out about it. And people on YouTube are just bombarding you with it, right? I mean, uh, I've seen the videos. You know, I still do the research and things like that. I haven't posted anything on the information coming out yet because I don't think a lot of it is uh, very relevant. Um, most of it is just like perks, what kind of perks are coming out. And a lot of stuff has come out. Uh, as far as information based on uh, COD XP, right? A lot of people got to play uh, the Modern Warfare 3 beta at COD XP. And here's the key word to that, guys. Beta, right? Modern Warfare 3 beta. Things are going to change uh, from that aspect. Uh, a lot of stuff is going to change. It's not going to stay the same as beta. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what we do know and also about some stuff that I think you guys really need to uh, really need to chill out, take a minute, think about it because right now it's getting hyped up, right? Modern Warfare 3 is getting hyped up. Do not fall into the hype, guys, because there's something that a lot of people are not telling you, and that is that Battlefield 3 according to uh, reviews, critiques, and things like that from the, uh, not pro gaming environment, but from that aspect, from the, you know, like the game reviews from IGN, uh, Game Informer, those kinds of things, Battlefield 3 is beating Modern Warfare 3 in almost every single aspect. Now, am I saying that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a bad game? No. Not what I'm trying to say. I still think it's going to be a very good game. I think it's going to be very enjoyable. But there's quite a few things that worry me about Modern Warfare 3. So I am staying skeptical. And when you're watching these reviews, right? When you're watching these reviews on YouTube and you're listening to what people had to say and you're reading about this stuff, remember, it's only in beta right now. And take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, these are just people's opinions. And... One of the problems with YouTube, and I hate to say this, um, I really do, but one of the problems with YouTube is that when something comes out that they know people want to know about, right, that they know people want to know about, they instantly do a video on it with whatever little information that they have and try to, try to not hype it up, but they try to make it sound really good, get people really excited because they want you to watch that video. That is exactly what it's for uh, because they know it's going to be a highly searched, highly viewed uh, video, highly viewed topic. So a lot of this stuff I think is coming out premature or is not skeptical enough. And I think that honestly right now the way it sounds, Modern Warfare 3 scares me. I think it has the potential to be very good, but I also think it has the potential to be very bad. And one of the things that we do know, and I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube, so I'm not going to say too much about it, but I do want to touch on it a little bit, and that is the perks, okay? And I'm just going to tell you guys quickly what I plan on using. Uh, if the connection is anything like it is in Modern Warfare 2, I do plan on sniping. Yay me, I'm going to snipe. But if it's anything like Modern Warfare 2, I do plan on sniping. And for sniping, I'm more than likely going to use either uh, sleight of hand, sleight of hand, or extreme conditioning. One of those two probably. Okay? Maybe blind eye. Maybe. Highly doubtful, but maybe. Now, in tier two, oh, and if you guys don't know what it is, sleight of hand is faster reloading and faster weapon change, okay? Uh, blind eye is you're invisible to air support. Not ghost, but you're just invisible to air support. And then extreme conditioning is your increased sprint time, 
uh, and then later your increased climbing speed. Now, tier two, this is the tough one. This is the important tier, okay? You have quick draw, right? Quick draw is essentially a sleight of hand that we all know and love. It's faster aiming and faster recovery from using grenade and equipment, okay? I plan on sniping. Sorry, gonna use quick draw. Gonna do it more than likely uh, when I'm sniping. But here's the problem. Here's the toss-up. In the same tier, you have Blast Shield, which is, which is increased explosive resistance in the pro version of resistance to flashbangs and stuns. So it's like Flak Jacket and Tactical Mask rolled into one perk. That is a beast perk. Okay, but if you have the choice between that and faster aiming from Quick Draw, especially when sniping, that is going to make it difficult, and I think that is going to entice more people not to use Blast Shield. Now, here is what really scares me guys also in this tier tier 2 you have assassin okay assassin is immunity to uav portable radar thermals and heartbeat sensors that's just the regular version you go to the pro effect you also have immunity to ca counter uav and emps and no red crosshair on your name so now you are essentially invisible to everything but air support by using assassin okay Everything but air support. That is, I, I'm afraid of that perk. I'm afraid it's going to be overused and it's going to become horrible. Okay. Now, on the other hand, also in this tier, you have overkill. Gives you the ability to carry two primary weapons. And in tier two, the second primary weapon can have two attachments. Now, that is also really beneficial for snipers. Especially if you're using sleight of hand, which allows you to change your weapons faster. So... Tier 2 is going to be very strategic on how you use your perks. Uh, me, personally, I'll probably use Sleight of Hand or Blast Shield. Uh, if I'm using uh, Quick Draw or Blast Shield, excuse me, if I'm using Sleight of Hand, uh, I may use Overkill. Just, just a, you know, it makes more sense. Now, Tier 3, um, there's some cool perks in here, but I'll just get to the ones I'm probably going to use. Uh, it's either going to be a sit rep, which is detect enemy explosives and tack inserts, and opposing team's footsteps make more noise, and or dead silence, which gives me quieter movement and recon doesn't work as well against you. Pro effect, don't take any fall damage. It's going to be hard to choose between those two because I do like to sound horror. Sorry, guys. But that is the end of it. Remember, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't fall into the hype. Be weary, be careful, and let's have some fun. This is Demon, and I'm out. Peace.